What's up guys, this is GTFan712 back with another installment of news, in which I recap the sneaker news that matter to me this week and look forward to this weekend's releases. Kicking off this week, both Nike and Adidas released their January general releases at the beginning of this week, including new colorways of the Adidas Ultra Boost, a new street variation of the Ultra Boost, the Nike Free Mercurial Superfly, and the Air Footscape Magista. Check the links in the description to shop these new arrivals. With the Kobe 11 debuting this weekend, Nike Lab bids farewell to the Kobe 10 with an additional fourth colorway of the Kobe 10 Elite Low HTM. Featuring a heathered gray upper with blue accents, this new HTM Kobe released in-store at 21 Mercer and online via Nike's online drawing system on Thursday, January 7th. Adidas restocked the extremely popular 3M Ultra Boost this Wednesday, January 6th. Additionally, a wide release of both the 3M and the Chalk White Ultra Boost hit select retailers this week, with additional retailers set to release the Chalk White colorway this weekend. For up-to-the-minute updates, follow my Adidas exclusive Twitter account, at Adidas Alerts. Moving into this week's news, a plethora of new Adidas NMD runner colorways were leaked on both the original Prime Knit variation and the lower tier nylon and mesh variation. Featuring new printed uppers, heathered prime knit uppers, and for the first time, colored boost foam, these new NMDs are only renderings, most of which should be releasing this season. This weekend's first release is a re-release of an early Flyknit Racer colorway. The original Oreo Flyknit Racer returned to Nike Store today, Friday, January 8th. Additional retailers should be receiving pairs, so follow me on Twitter at GTFan712 for release updates. This Saturday brings us several releases beginning with Kobe Bryant's final on-court signature shoe, the Kobe 11. The debut Achilles heel colorway features a fading red to black fly knit upper, which releases on Saturday, January 9th for a retail price of $200. Releasing alongside the Kobe 11 is a new Nike SB Dunk collaboration from Homegrown. Featuring an olive and brown suede upper with added metal eyelets, the homegrown SB Dunk High Premium releases Saturday for a retail price of $120. Following the five-pack of Nike Lab Flight 89 releases late last year, we now have a similar pack of Nike Lab Air Force One mid-releases. Featuring luxurious takes on the classic Nike silhouette, Fashetta Tan, Jim Red, Obsidian, Black, and White colorways will release this Saturday, January 9th, for a retail price of $165 each. The Air Jordan 2 Retro returns this weekend in the form of the Radio Rahim colorway. Inspired by Spike Lee's film Do the Right Thing and the character Radio Rahim, this Jordan 2 Retro releases at select Jordan retailers this Saturday, January 9th. Following the 25th anniversary series of Gelite 3 collaborations, Clot delivers a duo of suede Gelite 3s beginning on January 9th. The Sand and Lavender Asics Gel Light 3s feature tonal premium suede uppers, both of which release in-store at Juice locations throughout Asia and online on Saturday for a retail price of around $190 US dollars each. Boston boutique Bodega also has an Asics collaboration releasing this Saturday, debuting a new retro silhouette from Asics, the original Gel Trendy, now known as the Gel Classic. Featuring an earth tone colorway inspired by the great outdoors, the On the Road Gel Classic releases Saturday, January 9th, exclusively in-store and online from Bodega, including a disposable camera, all for a retail price of $130. And that will wrap up this installment of news. In the comments below, let me know your thoughts on this week's news and releases, and follow me on Twitter for up-to-the-minute news and release updates throughout the week. Until next time, this has been GTFan712. Thanks for watching.